has this Dodge Ford Axle from 1965 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu Super Sport. And in 1965, the Super Sport was still more of a trim package. It didn't necessarily mean that it had a big bad engine. I mean, that year you could get a 120 horsepower straight six in a Super Sport if you wanted it. But if you think that's what this car is housing, well, you're a dum-dum. Underneath, you'll find a 327 cubic inch V8. And it might not be the top dog L79, but it's still very potent. It's an L74, and that means a compression ratio of 10 and a half to one and 300 horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque. Inside, you'll find an automatic transmission, and specifically, it's a power glide. And sure, it only has two forward gears, but a lot of people don't seem to understand the strength of a power glide, and that being that it only takes around 25 horsepower to spin. By comparison, that monstrous torque flight automatic in the Coronet takes 45 horsepower to spin. So sure, you've only got two forward gears compared to their three, but you've also got an extra 20 horsepower hitting the blacktop. Speaking of blacktop, the power is hitting the pavement through a set of well-balanced 355 rear gears. This is old footage. Later on, this car would be upgraded to a set of 410 gears, and it became an absolute rocket, but... That's a different video for a different day. The Chevelle was a huge success in 1965 with over 370,000 produced, but only 13,594 had the L74 or 327 V8. Let's check out that opponent. 1967 Dodge Coronet RT. And this car features the base engine for the RT, which was a fairly stout 440 cubic inch V8. Compression ratio is 10.1 to 1, and it was rated 375 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque. As I already mentioned, inside is a power-hungry Torque Flight 3 speed automatic transmission. And then we get to the rear gears of this car and it is somewhat of a drag race limiting factor. Ooh, 294, but I'll bet it's fantastic on the highway. If you hadn't noticed, this car is a convertible, and with convertibles comes a little bit of extra weight, and this thing with driver is 4,012 pounds. It's hard to say how many Coronet RT convertibles were produced as the documentation is a little bit conflicting. Some of the books say 628 total, but then some more specific Chrysler documentation states as little as 196 total. Superstock Magazine tested a 67 Coronet RT with the same 440 and 3-speed automatic transmission, but theirs had a set of 323 rear gears. It was able to run the quarter mile in 14.35 seconds at 99 miles per hour. Let's see what our featured cars will run today. This is a new entry at the Pure Stock Drag Races, if I'm correct. <laughs> In the first round, it's the Chevelle that takes home the win, running 14.18 seconds at 97.42 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Coronet ran 14.80 seconds at 94.31 miles per hour. Let's check out round two. 96 miles per hour. Now, Kelvin Barron for Kevin Barron, rather, has this Dodge Ford RT from car. In the second round, it's again the Chevelle taking home the win, running 14.30 seconds at 97.03 miles per hour. In the other lane, the RT ran 14.61 seconds at 94.70 miles per hour. A huge thanks to both of the owners for bringing out these cars. Absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.